Hey guys, I'm here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 5 Lesson 19 homework. So let's get started. Number one, divide each number line into the given fractional unit. Then place the fractions, write each whole as a fraction. So A, we have thirds. That means between each whole, we need to separate that section into thirds. So one and two separate into thirds and two to three separate into thirds. So place the fractions, six thirds is equal to two. So that'd be right here. Five thirds is um, right before six thirds. So that'd be right here. And eight thirds, so six, seven, eight thirds would be right here. And write each whole as a fraction, three thirds, three times three is nine. So that's nine thirds. For three and we already did two so whole is just three thirds you can write it here all right and i think that's it now for b we have six six so between one and two we gotta separate into six so we separate into thirds first and then separate each third into half because that way it's like easier to separate them into equal pieces. So one whole is six over six. So that means two is six times two is 12. So that's 12 six and three times six is 18 over six. So 10 over six would be, so 12, 11, 10, six, six is right here. And 18, 6 is right here, and 15, 12, 13, 14, 15 over 6. All right, C, we have fifths. So we have to split each section between the holes into fifths. So one hole is 5 fifths. And here's six, seven, so seven fifths is right here. And two holes is two times five is 10 fifths. So right next to it, that'd be 11 fifths. And three fifths is 15 fifths. So here would be 14 fifths. All right, now number two, use the number lines above to compare the following fractions using greater than, less than, or equal to. So if 17 sixths, and 15 over 6. Denomin denominator is the same, so we look at the numerator, 17 is greater than 15, so that's greater than. Now over here, we have 4 thirds and 8 over 6. Look at the number line, 8, 6 would be right here, and 4 thirds would be right here. So, if you kind of tell, they're kind of at the equal they're kind of equal to each other, and if you multiply 4 thirds by 2, you'll get 8 6. So these are equal. Now 10 6 and 3 thirds. Well, we don't really even need to compare the number line. 3 thirds is equal to 1, and 10 6 is greater than 1. So that would be greater than 3 thirds. Now we have 7 thirds and 9 thirds. Denominator is the same, so we look at the numerator, 9 thirds is greater because 9 is greater than 7. And here we have 13 over 6 and 8 over 3. So 13 6 would be right here, and 8 over 3, 8 thirds is right here. So 8 thirds is obviously greater. And you have 6 thirds and 12 over 6. Well, um, if you look up here, they're exactly equal. They both equal two. So these two fractions are equal to each other. Now, 11 fifths and 8 fifths, denominator is the same. So our numerator, 11 is greater than 8. So 11 is greater. 11 fifths is greater. Here we have 11 sixths and 5 thirds. So... If you multiply 5 thirds by 2 to get to the same denominator, 5 times 2 is only 10. 
and 10 is less than 11, which means 11 over 6 is greater than 5 thirds. And here we have 15 fifths and 5 thirds. Okay, so 15 fifths will be right here. And 5 thirds would be over here. So 15 fifths is way greater than 5 thirds. Alright, next page. For three, use fractions from the number lines and problem one. Complete the sentence. Use words, pictures, or numbers to explain how you made that comparison. So you can pick any fraction. Okay, let's do... I don't know, let's do... 7 fifths and... 9 fifths. So why not? So 9 fifths is obviously greater than 7 fifths. Um, okay, wait. I know 9 fifths is greater because it's closer to 1 and also because 7 fifths is to the left of nine fifths, which means nine fifths is greater than seven fifths. Now number four, do the same thing. See, we can do one from different number lines. So, see what's one good one we can do. We can do. 8 thirds and 10 fifths. So 8 thirds is greater than 10. Oh no, no, no. 10 fifths is less than 8 thirds. So I know 10 fifths is less than eight thirds because it's closer to zero on the number line. All right, and number five, we need to pick another fraction. Let's see. So this time you need to be equal. Can do um, hold on, let me think, let me think, let me think. You guys can pick your own fractions too, because there's more than one correct answer. But ooh, let's do five thirds and ten six. So five thirds is equal to 10, 6. So, I know 5 thirds is equal to 10, 6 because, well, there, they, are the same distance from zero. So yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time, bye.